All right, no cursing, ladies. Are we live? We're live. I don't know if this is gonna. Let's just take over. All right, kids, ladies and gents. All right, we are live early. Um, I'm going to try to put this over here. See you guys. So, we're live early. I think we forgot to tell you. <laughs> we're going to go see Kiss tonight. There. Fell where, fell where, well, what do you call it? Farewell. Farewell tour. Number four, I think. I honestly think I, I saw them. Probably about five years ago, um, maybe a little longer, and I think it was their last tour. I'm not sure. My son got me tickets to that concert, by the way, because of the girl that he was seeing. Uh, his dad was a, um, a, a roadie or a concert um, promoter or something, but he got me tickets for my birthday to go see that. Right, Claire, you can do it. Name name four. Um, and it's funny because my last, my very first concert was Kiss. All right, so what I'm going to do, I am going to, we're going to try to put some, I, I don't think we've ever tried to just put just fluorescent spray paint into resin and see what it'll do. We got an orange, no, we got a yellow, a pink, and a green. I'm going to keep these far away from each other, I, I, I hope. Because <laughs> they do not do well. Um, and just to let you guys know, there is a code. Um, there's a 10% off today for um, our reaching our 25,000 subscribers. Um, the code is... 25k 25k and you get 10% off and that's only until 8 o'clock tonight so you have an hour and 30 minutes to get you some good stuff um, and I think I'm going to put some of this stone coat glow blue glow powder so I think that'll be fun I have no idea what it's going to do but I think it should be fun sippy sippy All right, let's get this party started. Party. I'm gonna have to take these bracelets off, I know it. All right, I will try and answer questions. Um, I, I can't, um, I can see, but I think I look silly when I'm looking, because I have to look down through these glasses to read the questions and comments. Um, B is right, no, there. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get a, what do we got here? Take it off of this one. All right. So, with that said, um, let's get into some fluorescent and art coat, man. So, we're going to use some stone coat, art coat tonight. I haven't used this in a minute. Um, always make sure you shake your paint up. Shake it up. I think we're going to have a white, so we'll put... I'm not sure. Should we do white or should we just do clear? 
I think we should do some white so it kind of maybe fans out. All right, where's my... I lost you guys. All right. So, like I said, we're gonna use some stone coat. I'll probably just start with... I'll probably just make way too much. I'll probably just make nine ounces. Um, and then put some of the glow in the dark stuff in the skull molds. I think that would be fun. Um, uh, yes, Sulu, I'm, I, I love it that you got them. Um, you just kind of have to practice with them because at first it might seem like, you know, you're like, how is this a thin cap and it's coming out? It's, it's, you have to be kind of quick and you just, you just got to get, you know, that muscle memory to push down and right when you push down it's going to bring that paint out so you just start moving um i don't think this is gloss i think all i think this is like a really weird matte fluorescent is just kind of fluorescent you know hi larry and paula and sandra and robin and joe fish and Teresa, and heather no, these aren't gloss. I, I'm pretty sure that fluorescent's just like a... Um, and always, always, always remember to spray, spray paint if you're going to put colors. Um, spray it into a paper cup first so you have the paint in the cup and you can actually set it, you know, set it down. Because if you try to spray it in a plastic cup, like just a, you know, like a plastic one, spray paint will melt. They'll melt it. So I'm gonna mix some color first before, or some resin before I spray that because I don't want it to evaporate too quickly. Everybody take advantage of the 10% off. I know it's not much, but we like to give out a little bit every now and again just to say thank you um we just spend <laughs> so much money on the on that stuff um i would love to say let's do 50 percent off one day like that would obviously be amazing but um maybe when we reach a hundred thousand subscribers whew, that would be amazing all right and this stuff is uh what, what we're using is stone coat art coat part a part b um it's a one to one so i just put uh five ounces in here of the hardener um and then i'll put five ounces of the resin i think i said it was going to make nine but i put five so I have to make 10, 10 OZs. Oh, I'm sorry, Heather, what did, uh, what did you need? Um, we should be getting, we should be getting all the, uh, what do you call it? We use one of our new sticks. Oh, this is a, I mess up and if you guys have trouble getting the uh, paper off our sticks all you do is just take something with a slight edge and just kind of scrape it until you get a little edge there and it'll peel right off unless you have good nails which I don't so we have white what does it say we're out of white white what unless Same. people bought it yeah Oh. We were out as of um, Saturday. Oh my gosh. Wow. I apologize. Stone coat? Yeah. We have a stack of it. We have a stack of it, but maybe it's been ordered. I updated it like yesterday. Oh, huh? it, it was updated, Heather. She said she updated it yesterday. Well, then yeah, then it should show it. Jeff 
favorite besides Sun Cup. Uh, Barb Just Resin makes um, an amazing uh, white and also um, Color Obsession makes a snow white. They're both really nice. We are out of snow white. But we are out of snow white, so I apologize for that. So I think we're going to go one size bigger on these, uh, on our uh, stir sticks. Like we have these, we got these new ones. We got three different shapes. We got, we call this negative space just because it's etched in negative space. You guys can see that. Um, and then we got one that looks like a straight razor. I don't know where that went. Oh, here we go. We got all three. We got all three represented. Unfortunately, I don't have any new ones. Because we sell them. And I just broke that one. That's not good. Um, but here's a straight razor one. I love this little thin one. So if you have small hands, it's good. And then we have the handle. Where's the one with the handle? This one is amazing. It has the handle grip. Um, actually, this is an inventive one. What is it, inventive? Is it inventive? My brother just made this with the little points on it, which doesn't work, so. We do not carry this one. <laughs> um, where is that one with the handle? Aha. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I'm a hot mess right now. Um, see, it has the little handle grips has a little thing here to stir your sticks with. All right, I'm all over the place here, guys. I think I'm just excited to go see Kiss. All right, I'm gonna stir this up. <clears throat> uh, yes, thank you, Joe Fish, for saying that. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna put some fluorescent into some uh, resin because I don't think we've ever done that. I think we've put fluorescent like with acrylic and some other stuff, but I don't think we've done all fluorescent. I think we've done fluorescent powders, but not fluorescent paint, spray paint. I can't wait for somebody to come up with some fluorescent paste. It's like that super 80s. That would be amazing. You know what's funny today? I was wearing shorts today. And I did go to Target. I left the house and it was beautiful today. All this weather gets so many people sick. Epoxy candy has some nice fluorescent powders. Holly, we have some, I think we, they sent us some epoxy candy. Uh, they sent us these like little tiny little little things. I don't know if they sent us any fluorescent stuff, but I'll have to check it out. You want to make sure you want to mix this all up because you don't want any spots that have just resin or just hardener because your piece will never dry. You want to stir it for at least two minutes, three minutes, just to make sure. Some people like to pour it into another cup, scrape it, mix it like that, so that way you know that you're really getting a good mix of it. I think what I'm gonna do, I think I'm just gonna put a little layer down of this, mix a little white, maybe run it, maybe one side of it, and then just pour the colors over it and just see how it reacts to. Um, the different paints. I've been thinking about this all day. Ugh. Sorry to hear that, Sandra. Ugh. Leanne, I, ugh. I don't, mm, I can't do 
can't do snow. I can't do cold and ice and whatnot. Can't do it. I'm, I moved here from Wichita, Kansas in 92, I believe. Maybe 91, like right at 91, 92. Um, because when I came here in December, like it was December or January, uh, just for a visit, just for like shopping visit kind of thing, it was beautiful. People were in shorts and I'm like, all right, that's it. I'm moving to Dallas. <laughs> so that's what I did. All right, this will be for some blue. This will be for the pink. This will be for the green. This will be for the yellow. I think we have enough left to mix a little white. Here, let's just spread this out here. Like, the faster you get your resin out of your pot, your cup, whatever, your bucket, um, the longer the longer working time you'll have. Because it's not all bunched up and sitting up against itself and wanting to heat up. That's what a lot of people have problems doing. Um, they'll make too much and not use it all at once and then you've ruined all of your uh, epoxy because you've taken your time doing other stuff which is understandable but it's a lesson you learn once or twice because you definitely don't do it the third time And I'm doing this not uh, not only to pop the bubbles, but to make it a little easier to spread around on the <laughs> spread around on the board. It's not easier to spread. I just want to kind of get a nice little even surface here. And I'll just put the white over this. I was gonna do half and half, but I didn't. I don't think I have enough to do half and half. So I gave everybody a generous amount of resin to use for each color. What I like to do is take 91% um, alcohol and Put it on a rag and have that rag just sit next to you just so that you can wipe your hands off so everything doesn't get crazy sticky your heat gun survives to a, a certain extent um, a second. I have all these markers out from yesterday All right, any questions? I apologize. I'm not even looking at the monitor. And if you're new to the channel and, and you ask a question and we miss it, um, we have a lot of people in here that love answering questions. Um, even if they don't have a blue little wrench by, beside them, um, those are our moderators. And if you get out of hand, they could put you in timeout or possibly kick you out. So, um, just to say, but they love to answer questions if they can. If other people can answer a question, they'll they'll most likely jump in. All right, we'll do three for these. Let's put some spray in, and I'll show you how I spray my paint in uh, in here. Um, instead of just spraying directly down, like <laughs> I like to like take it at an angle you see and uh and that way it, it kind of sprays and it kind of goes in a i guess it would be a circular so it kind of goes down and the bottom of the cup these cups are really small so you got to be careful i would spray just a little bit out first I'm 
you can you can barely push on this so that it doesn't just come wailing out of there. That's, that's a good amount. So, and I'll show you how I. Oh, let's see here. Is that all the way over here? What is this? Oh, I'm up here. For some reason, I thought it was over there. <laughs> Let's see here. I'm going to put a generous amount just because I want it to be really bright. <clears throat> Which I'm not sure if that's going to make it bright because this paint is really transparent. And it'll make your resin really thin too. So be careful not to overload it. But that looks good. Thank you, Larry, for saying that. All right, let's put this away so we know we sprayed that. We got some yellow. Ooh, that yellow. Uh-oh, I feel like that's gonna be a problem. This yellow cap does not work for our Lego cap does not work on fluorescent paints. So do not use the little Lego cap if you bought these little Lego caps from us. Because they do not work on there. So I'm just going to take this one up here. For stock tip. You really don't need a special tip for these fluorescent colors. See, so it's just kind of going at an angle. And I do have the windows open, so. All right, so we'll pour this in here. Let's see if you can see that. It doesn't look very fluorescent, but I guess because it's all together. Oh wow. Does that look fluorescent? It looks like it looks like baby food. It's still fluorescent. Alright, let's do some green. To, don't try to just get it all in there at once. Just lightly just spray it. Let's see here. It seemed like a little less than the others, but we'll see how it mixes in. I don't know why Lucy is so dark. Jeff, that is exactly what I thought. Baby poo. <laughs> Looks gross on camera. Uh, Sherry, is it Sherry or Cherie? What, uh, what colors, what neon colors do you have? I don't, Erica might know. Ooh, look how nasty that looks, y'all. Yeah. That looks like a baby just had a great time in a diaper. <laughs> um, sippy, see, why am I doing it over there? Because I, I think it's over there. All right. Oh yeah, let's put some of this blue in here. Um, this blue is awesome, but you can't, you won't see it in the, uh, in the resin. You can kind of see it when you pour it out on something white, 
But if you mix it in with the other stuff, it blends right in. I'm gonna put a lot in here. I don't know how much Mike puts in his. Ooh, that's crazy. Very vibrant. AI pigment neons. Um, I don't know. I'll ask Erica. I'm sure that she knows. It's AI or A1. I don't know what. My glasses love to do play tricks on me with my eyeballs. All right, I'm gonna do a little white in here. I'm just gonna put a little bit in there. Since this is already white, you don't really need it, a solid white. And if you put too much white in here, you, oh, you know that it gets your cells all wacky, so I wouldn't mess with that. And I'm just gonna put this kind of on this side and kind of, maybe I'll just put a little stripe here so I can swipe the colors over it. I don't know. Let's just put some of this down. Where is my... Put some trash in here. Does not want to come out. All right. All right. So I'm gonna put this down. Let's get some heat on this again. Do we have, do we have heat? And remember, do not have your alcohol rag near this, because the second that touches, you gonna have fire. Yeah, I just got some fireball today too. Laura Taylor was in somewhere. She got to leave her house for her snowstorm. She said she uh, she sent a picture to Erica and it was a case of little mini fireballs. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm just gonna do a line right here. I'm just gonna lay this out and kinda let this go wherever it wants to go. So we have something to, to put that, uh, these colors over, because you want the base tint for stone coat to be on the bottom for it to sell up. I think I'm gonna push it around a little bit. Let's try to push it around, get it out. Get it mingling with the other resin here. So you can get some fun stuff going on. You really can't see anything because it's white on white. So, you're not missing anything. I'm just trying to spread this around a little bit. Alright, so let's put, remember we're not going to put this, we're going to leave this green off to the side and then we'll probably do the yellow and then some that pink so that the yellow and pink will go together. Oh wow, that is some crazy color right there. I'm afraid to put this yellow down. No. <laughs> now we know. 
not to uh, use fluorescent yellow. All right, I'm gonna put this blue over here with this green. Put this blue by this pink so maybe it'll turn purple, who knows. Where is my platypus attachment? That is some thin stuff. It really makes it thin, y'all. It looks fun, though. Whoa, that white is going over some of this fluorescent. because we put that layer of resin down it just kind of floats over it it doesn't really mix together if I put those colors down before without that clear they would have they would have just kind of muddied together but that's kind of fun huh uh, this is pink I thought that that would mix with like I thought it'd mix and make orange not. Let's try to do Yeah, blue is a glow and dark. I don't even. I can't see it. I'll uh, I'll get our I'll get our black light. And see what it does. Now that's interesting. it nice and soft look at that we got some cells action going on over here you see that I don't know if you guys can see that why is that so difficult you know what I think these cameras are backwards like how they're set up. Huh? We've got a little cell action going on over here too. Is it too bright? Hey, where is the uh, black light light? I know it's over here. And I like 
like how it all kind of stretches out. I think I have a. Uh, it's, it's for uh, parking. I was like, well, we're not going to be driving, so. This is going to be fun to draw on because there's, you can see like it's selling on the white with the clear. But that pink is like, it's not really a true pink. Hello, Lydia. I'm going to, I'm going to change that. I'm going to see if I can brighten that up a little bit for you guys. Hold on a second. Yeah, I think just putting it over the white really like blends it out. Um, I think I'm gonna try to add some the, of the color actually right here and just see how that works. I just wanna stop in and say hi to the fan. Yeah, that's so fun. I've never had neon stuff look that. <gasps> cell? I know. We've got a little cell action on here. Kind of random. What What did you base it? Is that gesso? Um. Because it's really yeah. white. Yeah. Hey y'all. Sorry, can't stay long. I still have to find something to wear. I don't know if I want to put any color down on here. Might as well. <laughs> You can kind of darken it in, so you can see. Yeah. Oh, it is getting a little brighter. Uh, Sandra, she is getting ready for the KISS concert, so she's like, Making herself all crazy um, rock star-ish. I love it when she does that. She loves to play dress up. I'm trying to mix these so that they kind of fade together. It looks like an old 80s <laughs> record. Like one of the first clubs I ever painted was a place called Street Lights. And I, uh, I'm gonna put this blue all the way through this. And I just did the entire place splatter fluorescent paint. That's what the owner wanted. I, I still can remember his name. His name was John and he was, uh, I want to say Arabic or maybe, uh, maybe Iranian. I, I can't remember. He was a nice guy. He was very firm. <laughs> Somebody tried to shoot his place up and he wasn't having that. So this should be cool. 
Let me put a glove back on here. Hi, screaming. Gone girl. Gone girl. What? But is way too see through. Well, you have a bra on, right? I do. But, like. Babe, you're like. Look. Yeah, I know. It's too much. Uh, I think it looks fine. You, at least you have a. It's like you would have a swimsuit on. She's trying to get me in a fight tonight, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's fun. Man, that orange really looks bright. And it's not that bright, you guys. <laughs> Babe, where's the, oh, here it is. Nope, that's not it. Where's the uh, UV light? Um, right here. Oh, I'm gonna see if I can turn this down for you guys. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa, look at those. Look at that. You can see all the. That's fun. Babe, look at this. You can see all the. Uh... If I just hold it up a little higher. This blue really glows. This is the, the blue that you see there. Look at that. That blue, that's stone coat. Look at that. Wow. That, I didn't even notice that stone coat blue was in there. Well, you can't. How fun is that? I love that you can see the cells. All right. Well, that was fun. All right. So where is my... There it is. I'm going to put the rest of these colors in to the skull mold. I'm going to make one with just glow in the dark face. These are always fun to do. Sorry, y'all. I'm just filling this up with this extra resin. I'll probably put in some white. It'll be fun. What do we have most of? We got some green. I'm going to attempt to pour these all the same time so I can get like a rainbow this ought to be fun a rainbow pour ready nope I think because there's not there's more yellow in that so let's 
you pour these like side by side kind of they'll stay in their own lane look at that Fun is that? <laughs> and always be sure to hit your resin with fire when you do these little molds because you don't want any of those little bubbles in there. And they'll definitely show up. Should put some in the jersey mold. See, that's what, that's what I love about having this paper. You can scoop this excess resin up. Boom. Use your excess resin all that you can. That ought to be fun. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. If you guys just joined, um, I just did, uh, I just put, let me see here. If you guys just joined, we went on early because we're gonna go see Kiss tonight, so. Um, thank you for allowing us to have some free time tonight, first of all. Um, a friend of ours gave us tickets yesterday, so we're going to go hang out with them. We haven't hung out with them in a while. Very generous family. Um, oh, what I did is I just sprayed some three different aluminum, aluminum fluorescent colors um, in resin. Just to see what it would do. We haven't. I don't think we've ever done that. And uh, I just put some Stone Coat's uh, white base down. And just kind of fluttered it over it. I think if I did it more, it would probably sell out more. Um, let's see. I'll put it over here so you can kind of see it a little better. Whoops. Sorry about that. Um, and I put a black light on it. Like, see, you can see the cells. How fun is that? And there is some stone coat glow in the dark blue. And you can see how it lights up there. How fun is that? That stuff is amazing. That stuff will stick around. Look how it glows. How fun. All right. So, and I just poured the rest in here. In these little molds. You can see little skull molds here. Um, so that is it. I'm just going to leave these out here. Let me hit it with some fire again never hurts you don't want to burn them put this with a little fire and that'll br bring out some of those cells even more We appreciate your business today. If you didn't know, there is a 10% code 
10% off code um, on the website. Let me get, let me get the, the right one here. Um, it's 25K, you get 10% off. Um, because you guys are awesome and because we hit 25,000 followers. So that was awesome. Uh, she is dealing with um, work stuff right now. Yeah. She has on a kind of rock star outfit. She looks very hot. It's a, I don't have that many rock star clothes. It's the only one I have. Okay. It's crazy. Thank you, Larry. Everybody hit that like button. I got to um, tell you the and subscribe and tell your friends about us. We we love everybody to to support us and to. It's get out there so and crazy, let everybody but it's know. Still blowing, even though you turned off. About us, um, the black it's fluorescent light. paint. What are you gonna do? <laughs> but it's it charges so well. Like I'm completely about it. Look at that. That's so awesome. You guys don't forget to use our code if you order from Stone Coat. It is y'all all caps. Yeah, and we do offer resin as well. Now we offer Stone Coat art coat. Yeah, but website. if you want to buy a gallon or a different kind of resin, like there's countertop or floor or whatever, yeah. casting, or some of their like powders, because we don't sell the glow. We should probably get some though. No? There you go, babe. Show them the rock star look. I don't know how to do the. Is it this way? This way? This way? <laughs> this, this way? <laughs> yeah! That's all I got. She's a closet metal head. Thank you, Holly. Thank you. Thank you. She's Thank you. not. What? A closet metal head. I am. I'm out of the closet on all things that I don't know about, which is also metal. Um, get the glow. I will be getting the glow. Thank you, guys. What are the class details? Teresa, did you not get an email from us? You should have. Check your email. Thank you, Anita. Oh, horns. Up. Wait, does that mean not? Is this Texas? I don't know. Well, I feel like I can dress the part for whatever it is that's going on in my life, but I it's still don't this, know all the. This. You never do. You never point them down. I don't know. That's like the sign language Texas for thing. any of that. Anyways, I gotta take move out. Love y'all. All right, so we're off. We're Audi. Um, be kind to one another. Be kind to yourself. Go buy some paint for yourself today, 10% off. <laughs> you got 30 um, minutes. I'm going to you. You got 30 minutes. You got 30 minutes to buy some 10% off. Um, thank you, everybody. We wouldn't have done this without your guys pushing us and supporting us and always being here every night, every night, every night. Um, through the highs and lows, through the fails and... Woes. <laughs> Can I go on a t-shirt? So, yeah. Um, you guys have an awesome night. Um, thank you for hanging around. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. What is it? Tomorrow is Thursday. 8 p.m. Yeah. Doink, doink, doink. I love you guys. Bye.